Did you know that your laptop could be the weakest link in your digital fortress or your most powerful weapon? Choosing the right machine for cybersecurity isn't just about specs. It's about having the right tool for a demanding job. Hey everyone, welcome back to Laptops Lab. Today, we're diving deep into the world of cybersecurity and uncovering the absolute best laptops you can get your hands on right now to kickstart your journey or upgrade your current setup. We'll be looking at machines perfect for everything from running virtual labs and analyzing malware to penetration testing and coding secure applications. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which laptop fits your needs and budget. So, smash that like button if you're ready to gear up, hit subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss future guides. Let's get into it. All right, kicking things off. The number one is a crowd favorite, especially if you lean towards the Apple ecosystem. The MacBook Air, particularly models with the M2 or M3 chip. Now, why is this thin and light machine on a cybersecurity list? Simple power efficiency and that Unix-based Mac OS. It sips battery, letting you work for hours unplugged during long capture the flag events or study sessions. The M-series chips are surprisingly powerful for running multiple tools and Mac OS offers a solid, secure foundation with easy access to terminal commands essential for many cybersecurity tasks. Plus, the build quality, keyboard, and display are top-notch for those long hours staring at code or logs. It's incredibly portable too. Downside? Maybe less native support for some niche tools compared to Linux, but virtualization often bridges that gap. Overall, a fantastic choice for students and pros who value portability, battery life, and a smooth Unix-like experience. So, is the MacBook Air stealthy enough for cyber ops or just too pretty? Let me know your thoughts below. The number two is a powerhouse often loved by professionals needing serious grunt, the Dell XPS 15. Think of this as the sophisticated workhorse. What makes it great for cybersecurity? Performance, performance, performance. You can configure these with powerful Intel Core i7 or even i9 processors, loads of RAM. Seriously, aim for 16 gigabytes minimum, 32 gigabytes if you can swing it for running multiple virtual machines smoothly, and speedy SSD storage. That power lets you run demanding security tools, virtualization software like VMware or VirtualBox with multiple OS instances, and handle data-intensive analysis without breaking a sweat. The stunning display is great for detailed work, the keyboard is comfortable, and it has a decent selection of ports. Build quality is premium too. It runs Windows natively, which is common in corporate environments, but it's also generally quite Linux-friendly if you want to dual boot or run Linux in VMs. It's a solid investment for demanding tasks. Basically, this laptop has enough power to probably hack into the mainframe. You know, hypothetically. Don't do that. Seriously. The number three is a true industry classic. The Lenovo ThinkPad, specifically models like the T-Series or the Premium X1 Carbon. Why are ThinkPads legendary in IT and security circles? Three words. Keyboard, durability, and reliability. That iconic red track point might look old school, but paired with arguably the best laptop keyboard out there, it's incredibly efficient for command line work. ThinkPads are built like tanks, designed to withstand bumps and spills essential if you're working in various environments. They often come with great security features like fingerprint readers and webcam shutters. Performance is configurable and solid, easily handling virtualization and common security tools. Crucially, ThinkPads are renowned for their excellent Linux compatibility, making them a favorite for pen testers and Linux enthusiasts. They might not be the flashiest, but they are dependable workhorses built for serious business. If this laptop could talk, it'd probably just grunt approvingly and get back to work. What's your favorite classic tech that just gets the job done? Drop it in the comments. The number four offers something with a bit more flexibility, the HP Spectre X360. This is a premium two-in-one, meaning it can flip around into a tablet mode. Why is this useful for cybersecurity? Well, besides looking cool, the flexibility can be handy for presentations, reviewing documents, or using specific touch-based tools. But don't let the fancy design fool you. It packs solid performance, usually with Intel Core i5 or i7 options, sufficient RAM, and fast SSD storage. 
HP also includes some neat security features like a physical webcam kill switch and optional privacy screens to prevent shoulder surfing. Very relevant in security. It runs Windows smoothly, handles virtualization well for its size, and offers a good balance between portability, power, and that added versatility. Great for students or professionals who want one device that does almost everything. It's like the James Bond of laptops, stylish, versatile, and probably has a hidden gadget or two. Like that webcam switch. Okay, let's talk budget. Not everyone can drop two grand on a machine, especially if you're just starting out. The number five represents budget options like the Acer Aspire 5 or the Acer Swift 3. These laptops often provide the best bang for your buck. You can usually find configurations with decent processors like an Intel Core i5 or an AMD Ryzen 5, 8 gigabytes or sometimes 16 gigabytes of RAM, and an SSD. While they might not run 10 virtual machines flawlessly, they are more than capable of handling coursework, learning basic tools, running a Linux VM, coding, and performing network scans. Often, components like RAM and storage are upgradable, letting you improve performance down the line. The build quality and displays won't be as premium as the XPS or MacBook, but they are perfectly functional for learning the ropes of cybersecurity without emptying your wallet. Finding a good deal on one of these feels like finding a critical vulnerability in a test environment. Super satisfying. Anyone else running cyber labs on a budget machine? Share your setup. Need raw power? The number six caters to this. Something like the Razer Blade 14 or 15. These are gaming laptops first, but that high-end hardware translates incredibly well to demanding cybersecurity tasks. Powerful CPUs, top-tier dedicated GPUs, useful for certain password cracking tools that leverage CUDA or OpenCL, loads of fast RAM, and quick SSDs mean these machines chew through almost anything you throw at them. They can run multiple complex VMs simultaneously without issue. Plus, they have excellent build quality and often high refresh rate displays. The downsides? They are expensive, battery life usually isn't great under load, and they can run hot and loud. But if maximum performance in a portable chassis is your priority, a high-end gaming laptop is a serious contender. This thing probably runs Kali Linux faster than you can type sudo. What's the most demanding task you'd throw at your cyber laptop? Finally, the number seven to consider is the Microsoft Surface line, like the Surface Laptop 5 or the Surface Laptop Studio. These offer a premium Windows experience with excellent build quality, fantastic high-resolution touchscreens, especially the PixelSense displays, and great keyboards. Performance is generally strong, suitable for most cybersecurity tasks, including virtualization, though perhaps not as maxed out as the XPS or Razer options depending on configuration. They blend portability and power well. The Surface Laptop Studio adds that unique hinge mechanism for creative or presentation flexibility. If you primarily work within the Windows ecosystem and value a premium design and excellent display, a Surface device is a very compelling option. It's sleek, professional, and runs all your Windows-based security tools natively. It's so clean, it might just convince viruses to wipe themselves. Maybe, probably not .so, which one is truly the best? As you've seen, it depends. If you need ultimate portability and battery life with a Unix base, the MacBook Air is great. For raw Windows power and VMs, the Dell XPS 15 excels. For ruggedness, Linux compatibility, and the best keyboard, ThinkPads rule. Need versatility? HP Spectre X360. On a budget? Acer Aspire or Swift? Maximum power and maybe gaming? Razer Blade. Premium Windows experience? Microsoft Surface. Key things to look for regardless are at least 16 gigabytes of RAM if you plan on running virtual machines heavily. A modern processor Core i5 or Ryzen 5 minimum, i7 or Ryzen 7 recommended, and definitely an SSD for storage speed. Choosing the right laptop is a crucial step in your cybersecurity journey. It's your primary tool for learning, exploring, and defending the digital world. Hopefully, this breakdown gave you a clearer picture of some of the top contenders readily available right now. Remember, the best laptop is the one that fits your specific needs, workflow, and budget. Don't just buy the most expensive one. Buy the smartest one for you. What did you think? Which of these laptops caught your eye? Or what machine are you currently using for your cybersecurity adventures?
let me know down in the comments. If this video helped you out, please give it a massive thumbs up, subscribe to Laptops Lab for more reviews and guides, and hit that notification bell so you're the first to know when we drop new content. Sharing this with a friend interested in cyber could really help them too. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe online and offline, and I'll catch you in the next video.